Hey, what's up? This is Xavier from NGN, and I'll be showing you various tapping methods to uh, the intro for Through the Fire and the Flames. Now, many of you could probably already tap, but I'm just going to be showing you various methods and whatnot. So, alright, let's get started. Sorry, the phone was ringing. I thought it was for me. Anyways, most important thing when you're tapping this is the green needs to be held down. Well, because it keeps having to go back to the green, and unless you can actually, like, do it with those hitting the green, you're like the Jesus of Guitar Hero, but let's not get there. So, yeah, the green is held on. You can hold it with any finger you wish or desire. You can put a rubber band. You can get your neighbor next door to hold it for you, or whatever you, works for you. The green, sh I recommend strongly that it should be held down. All right. And next to that... Before you can start tapping it, in my opinion, you need to understand the pattern for the other frets. So let the green aside, because you know it always has to go back to the green. Let's just concentrate on the other frets, all right? So basically how the pattern goes is red, yellow, blue, red, yellow, blue, orange, blue, orange, yellow, blue, red, orange, yellow, blue, yellow. So na 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 all right now once you get that pattern down you should be able to go good with that pattern well i don't know where i'm going with this basically if you get this pattern down you can start tapping Alright, you could tap without the pattern, just look at the screen and hit the right fret, but in my opinion, I'll find that pretty tough to do, because I know I can't do that. But, I'm not saying you can't. So, alright. Alright, first method I'll show you is, well, first thing, hard things with tapping is, for one, the shoulder strum. Do like that. I shoulder strum like that, you can shoulder strum however you want, or you can just strum and get there with your hand. I can't do that, but whatever works for you. All right. Now the first method I'll show you is you hold your green, the green down with your left index, just like that, and you use your left middle finger and you tap the red with that. And you use your right hand, you you use your index, your middle finger, and your ring finger, and you put that on the yellow. So your index will go on the yellow, middle finger will go on the blue, and your ring finger will go on the orange. So basically, your hand placement will be like this. So, in a nutshell, it'll kind of look like this. Now, one thing I forgot to tell you is that you need to hit the frets as fast as you can so it can go back down to the green. Like, if you just hit them like that, these aren't the right order of notes, but just button mashing. If you go like that, it's not going to work because it's just going to be going between these and it won't have enough time to go back down to the green. So, just... So you just, you have to tap it as fast as you possibly can. So, placing it like this, just. This is about the right speed. Alright. Now here's another method. Again, you hold down the green with your left index. You hold down the red with your left middle finger, but this time you use your left ring finger on the yellow and on your right hand you use your index on the blue and your middle finger on the orange. I cannot do it this way because my ring finger is way too slow. So uh, I can't do this method at all, but if you would do it, this is how it looks on a slower speed. Alright, so... Now, you can also just tap it like this. I can't do that. I'd get disoriented after a while. I know a fellow NGN member, Marty, the way he taps it, I find it weird. He'll, like, hit the red, this red, and he'll tap like that. Then I remember he, like, taps the yellow and, like, the blue at one point. I don't know. I find that weird. I don't know how he does it, but it works for him. So, I remember at one point, I'd hold down the green with my right index, and I'd just, like... And it actually worked for me after a while, but then after about an hour of doing it like that, my hand would be sore and I wouldn't be able to do it anymore. So basically what I'm going to be showing you, and this is the method I use, is the I am Chris for life's method. Basically this is the way he does it and I find it very good. 
So let's get started. I like this method because it always switches from hand to hand like that. Like, not the right order of threads here, but you get the point how it always switches from one hand to another. So, it's very fluid. So, alright. First things first, you hold down the green threat button. I do it with my left index, of course. Now, he uses it, and a lot of people tap it with their left ring finger, but like I said, mine is not fast enough, so I just go with my middle finger instead. That way, and plus, all you have to tap with your left hand on this is yellow, red, and blue, like these three. So I can stretch to the blue with these. I'm good to go, all right? Now, since it always goes from hand to hand like that, it looks confusing, and plus, you start with your right hand. Now you can start with your left hand and change it up, do it your own unique way, that's all right, but I'm gonna follow the method I've been practicing, so. All right, you start by tapping the red with your right hand. I always use my index, so I'm just gonna say my right hand. I tap the red, then I use my left hand to hit the yellow. I use my right hand to hit the blue. Then I use my left hand to hit the red this time because I just finished using the blue hand, or the right hand. Then I use my right hand to hit the yellow, left hand to hit the blue, and right hand to hit the orange. Now each cluster, each cycle, basically in this case I'm gonna, a cycle will be na 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 I'm gonna call that a cycle. I break it down to two groups. The first group would be na 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 All right, so with the first cycle, or the first part, basically be, all right? So like I said, it's right hand red, left hand yellow, right hand blue, left hand red, right hand yellow, left hand blue, right hand orange. Now I know that looks really confusing, but here's a trick. With your left hand, you hit these notes in this order. Yellow, red, blue. That's all you hit. Yellow, red, blue. And with your right hand, you hit red, blue, yellow, orange. Red, blue, yellow, orange. Red, blue, yellow, orange. So yeah, na 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 na. All right. So put that together with this hand. It's and so. All right. Like pay attention to my left hand. How it goes. Yellow, red, blue. I know I still play, but that's all right. And that should cover the first group. Now the second part of the cycle is na 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 na. All right, so it goes blue, orange, yellow, blue, red, orange, yellow, blue, yellow. All right, so na 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 na. All right. So this, since it starts off with blue, and you finished with your right hand before, you'll start off with your right hand hitting the blue, then left. I mean, left hand hitting the blue, right hand hitting the orange, left hand hitting the yellow, right hand hitting the blue, left hand hitting the red, right hand hitting the orange, left hand hitting the blue, right hand hitting the orange, and again, left hand hitting blue. Now, it's easy because with the right hand, basically, you're only going to be hitting the blues and orange. So, it, all you would be hitting is orange, blue, orange, blue. Alright? So, orange, blue, orange, blue. All right, and with the left hand, you'll be hitting blue, yellow, red. I mean, yeah, blue, yellow, red, yellow, yellow. So put that together. Right. Watch. Pay attention to my right hand. How I said it's orange, blue, orange, blue. Watch. See, I didn't lie. On this hand, like I said, it's blue, yellow, red, ye yellow, yellow. Alright, now if we were to mix those up together, that make, now I've done the first part, now it goes, now you can practice as slow as you want, because I wouldn't say going full speed until you really got this thing down, it took me a while to get this method going, but as soon as you got it good to go, it's, it's really easy I find this. video has helped you and thank you very much for watching www.ngvids.co.nr check it